there was a research study Ron Joseph looked at 2300 children and they looked at static footprints and how footwear affected the development of their medial arch which I thought that's a pretty large cohort for a study, right? So what they found is by the age of 13, these are kids four to 13, by the age of 13, those who did not wear shoes, less than three of them presented with what they considered flat feet. The ones that wore shoes, 9% were considered having flat feet. And Sorry, 3% or three in total? 3%. Okay, 3%. Yeah. Right? So the ones that wore shoes, they also noticed the type of shoe. So the ones that wore closed toe box shoes had a higher prevalence for, you know, and I always say with research, let it guide you, not shackle you. So I thought it was interesting. So with a closed toe shoe, there was more of a prevalence than even the kids that wore sandals. Mm -hmm. So why is that? You know, did they kick their shoes off and run around barefoot? Did they have more toe splay? Was the foot able to function in a better position? But what the conclusion of the study was the researchers said that this sensory information that was gained by their feet somehow gave them a, a protective tone, an increase in protective muscular tone that was enabling their arch to elevate. Now, how is that accomplished? Because I know that there's going to be many people listening to this who are going to immediately want to think about their kids. Yeah. And, you know, the, the reality of it is most of our kids are in school from yes. a pretty young age and therefore they have to kind of be in shoes. It's kind of, you know, especially like you live in Colorado. It's not like you're going to yeah. send your kid to school in sandals no. in the middle of the winter. <laughs> so do you get a sense of the, the, the time requirement being out of shoes? If indeed there's causality between time away from shoes and improved foot health at a young age? I think we have the opportunity with the kids. I mean, when they're at home, they're, just take their shoes off. Different um, sand, grass. I mean, this doesn't have to be all the time, but even just a little bit. I mean, every kid on the planet, the first thing they do is take their shoes and socks off because they're wanting to gain that sensory input. Yeah. So I think even a little bit can go a very long way. And then we'll get into footwear because that's a big one for the kids. Yeah. Yeah. We, we definitely want to talk about that for both kids and adults. Totally. And then getting back to the development of this guy, the sustentaculum talli. So if we know that it ossifies by age seven, and we have this window where we know that f between these ages, three, four, five, six, that the arch is developing, and we can start to allow um, sensory input and start to begin muscle strength, the way he develops, there's a little lip. You see how it lips up? So it positions the talus almost in a, with a lateral tilt. So it's very important from a um, bony architecture perspective on how stable that foot is. Hmm. So, you know, there are cases where this will develop in a downward slope and then you predispose, you could predispose for some type of flat foot deformity in, you know, in the future. Uh -huh.